Welcome to Calabera Forecasting. In this video, I am going to explain about our almanac book. Before that, I want to say this is our seventh year. We are publishing this book as a seventh year. It is available in Tamil, Hindi, and English also. Okay. So first of all, I want to say one thing about this almanac. This almanac is not only for market, for every activities in your personal life. Other than market, also it is applicable. Okay. So personal birth chart and market astrology, two things are there in the market. I prefer everyone to concentrate on your personal birth chart because whatever you do in your prediction it is different case. Making the profit is different case. So everybody is not making profit here. Most of the people are losing money here. So here I suggested to concentrate in, in your personal birth chart time. After that you come to analyze market astrology. Okay. First you need to know when your time will be good, your time will go advance, when your time will fall. That we need to know that. Then we can predict the market. That is what I want to say uh, before I am going to explain this almanac book. So here I explain what are the content is there and what is the usage that is what I explain in that. So and also I given some hint for as per personal budget for Aries Lagna. Don't trade when the planets are in the 7th house. When these planets when move to 7th house, don't do trade. Don't trade on these star days. It is a moon star. Moon star and nakshatra days. Aries, Lagna persons. Don't do trade. Like that I given here. So, I will show my page. <coughs> this is for all astrological information for the particular day. Each day, 365 days. I kept 365 pages. Okay. Now look, I will show you what are the things is here. First of all, what is the day lot? That is that day lot. Monday means moon, Tuesday means Mars, like that. After that, star lot. What is the nakshatra lot? That is a moon traveling in which nakshatra? That nakshatra lot we mention as a star lot, Jupiter. And Tidi means the distance between sun and moon is called a Tidi. So, it is called a day also. So, Tidhi is very important in for day traders. So, that Tidhi also we mention here. After that, quarry timings. This quarry timing, I, I am again saying to, it is for personal birth chart related. Some of quarries will be good for you. Some of quarries not good for you. That we need to note down whenever you do the trade. Na, for example, I am placing the order at market open time. So market open time on 17th April, it is 8.25 to 9.28. It is a Jupiter Hore. So Jupiter Hore, I placing the order. If I make the profit means I need to note down that. Whether Jupiter Hore is profitable for me or not. Okay. So just like that, it is for personal usage. Second, here I given a zodiac box so this first zodiac box is a pure rasi exact planet positions that is what i given in this and outside zodiac box is d9 navamsha okay that's it this is what zodiac sign and moon transit it is for intraday users so moon is in which sign the whole day Okay, what is the nakshatra and what is the sublad? So for example, 928. This book is prepared as per 9:15 a.m. time. So 9:15 to 10:28 a.m. Moon is an Aquarius 
sign. The star is Poratadi, that is Purva Bhadrabada, and sublord is Satan. This Satan will up to 10:28 a.m. So after that, this both are same. The sublord will change. So what kind of reaction market is getting? Every day we should follow the. Once you follow that, now you get an. What is it? You you uh, you understand how astrology is working well in this market. Okay, this moon transit is very important for intraday players. After that, I give an lagna, Aries lagna, six eleven a.m. to seven fifty four a.m. So Earth completing one rotation around in its own axis within a twenty four hours. So in the, within the twenty four hours, this ascendant crosses all the twelve rasis. Okay. So that time I given this is also very effectively working on market, okay. And also second thing you need to, I already told you, know, we need to concentrate on our personal birth chart, okay. Most probably I given a two way Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius. These are a odd lagnas. Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces are a even lagnas so this is the odd houses these are even houses odd houses persons choose the trading time only an odd houses will be good okay most probably i mentioned 6 8 12 when lagna is moving from your birth lagna clearly note down first to find out where is your birth lagna from the birth lagna what is the current lagna you just count that Your birth lagna is number one. Okay. For example, my lagna, my birth lagna is Aquarius. You count from here. Okay. This is as a one. So you have to count two, three like that. So where is current lagna is timing is there? For example, any time you can take it. For right now time is it's showing a Scorpio. For example, right now time is around ten thirty p.m. So Scorpio, if I take Scorpio is here, okay. This is our my tenth house. If you count from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it is a even houses. Even though six, eight, twelve houses are very very bad houses, okay. So to be frank, I made a big losses when Moon travel to my six, eight, twelve houses. When I check my past history. It was mostly my maximum losses was made under six and twelve houses. Okay, when moon travel, that is what I given here. This lagna or ascendant person should trade very careful today. I mentioned Cancer, Virgo, Pisces. This so this is very 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 importantly we should follow not only a market again saying this is our for your personal time also even Saturday Sunday also when moon travel six eight twelve position. You must be very careful. Whatever activities you are doing on those days, you should follow. Moon should not travel six, eight, twelve positions, and also Lagna should not travel six, eight, twelve position. Whenever you want to do anything new, maybe you are placing order, or you want to go somewhere else, traveling, whatever personal life also. Okay, you should follow these things for everyday activities. Okay. So apart from this, I given here all the planet, planet is which sign, which degree, and which nakshatra, and that nakshatra lord. So this will be very helpful who attend my classes, and also aspect. So many people know very well what is aspect, the distance between two planets. These aspects also I highlighted when the aspects comes to near. Major degrees, forty-five, ninety, one thirty-five, one eighty, like that. I highlighted with grey color. So here you can understand that day is a very important day. Okay. So apart from that, this aspect will affect which sector. That everything it is in my class. Interested? You can join my classes also. And when, if any planet in this planet name, if it is highlighted with grey color, means it means that planet is in retrograde okay so and also any planet changes i highlighted with 
green color planet sign change star change i highlighted with the green color okay so these are the information sets are here apart from this i want to say one thing don't ever look my hint whatever i given here because this is just a guideline okay so don't believe because apart from this single line i have many astrological informations are here these informations if you follow you can make it perfect way in your trading methods okay only concentrate on your personal timings then you can try to learn market how behaving based on the planets okay thank you if any more any more doubts whatsapp me i given my number in every page okay this book is april 14 to april 14 for one year this is our seventh year book publishing this book cost is 1800 interested can book your copies thank you